Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom conversions to track any sort of conversions and things that you want to track inside of your Facebook ads account. So in order to do this, what we're going to do is log into our Facebook ad account. You want to make sure you're in there first, then go ahead and go to ads manager at the top left, going to go to all tools, and we're going to look under the measure and report column for something called custom conversions. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Uh, once that loads, what we're going to do is see a screen where we can actually add any sort of custom conversions we want to add. So simply, we're going to go ahead and look for this blue button here that says create custom conversion. I'm going to click that. Next, what I want to do is I want to leave the website event as all URL traffic. And what I will do is actually enter my uh, domain name with the URL that I'm trying to track. So uh, let's say, for example, I have somebody opt in for a video. Once they visit the video page, I want to track that as a lead. So in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and type in relairdesign.com forward slash video. And I don't want to put any www or HTTP or anything like that. Just keep it with the domain only. That way it will track whether it's the HTTPS or HTTP. Without getting complicated, that's just an easy way for it to track any visitor to this uh, URL. Okay. Now, once I click out of that, you can see that it adds it there. And all I want to do is go ahead and give this a descriptive name. So I'm going to call this uh, video opt-ins. Okay. Just so I know who signed up for videos. And then what I want to do is assign this a category of lead. Okay. Um, now, if you're setting up a custom conversion for something else, you can choose your options here. For example, uh, you can choose purchase if you're setting up something for Shopify or anything like that. Um, but again, this is a lead for me. So I'm going to go ahead and put that there. And then you want to give this a value. Um, even if there is no value, for example, a video opt-in, I still want to put in a value just so Facebook can kind of optimize for some sort of number or to track. So um, what you'll usually do is I usually put 100 in there and that just gives it $1 value. Um, again, that's how it works. If you put more zeros, you can see it sort of updates there. So again, I just put a dollar just so it knows exactly what to optimize for and has some sort of metric to optimize for that. Uh, and that's all there is to it, guys. Uh, if you want to create more of these, you can click create here. Um, and you'll see that now this pixel is updated and added um, and you can just create more custom conversions inside of your uh, ad account. And again, all you want to do is just put in the URL without any www or the HTTPS stuff in there. Um, give it a name. Go ahead and select a category for it. Uh, it can be any sort of categories that you want to track here. Give it a value and then go ahead and click create. That's all there is to it. Again, if this video was helpful, click like. Leave a comment below if any questions, and of course, subscribe for more awesome videos like this where I will dive in, show you over the shoulder exactly how to set up Facebook ads, enhance your marketing, and do all kinds of cool stuff. So, see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.